Whoa, 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 don't go nowhere. You clicked on this video because you want to hear my honest thoughts to Deadpool 2. That's right. I'm just back from seeing not much the premiere, but, you know, like the opening of Deadpool 2 in my hometown. The movie is finally out, and I believe it's the best movie. It's better than the first one. Oh, my God. So, I sit down. No one in my row. Once again, I, 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 I seem to be getting the rows that no one sits in. When I went to see Infinity War, I had a whole row to myself. When I saw in Sherlock Gnomes, whole row to myself. Deadpool 2, whole row to myself. And it was like the opening day, it was like the release date for Deadpool 2. I sit down, no one in my row. I'm like, you know what, I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to take it in. Yeah. And I burped. <laughs> but no, let's uh, let's talk about the movie. Ryan Reynolds, back once again as the iconic Deadpool. This one, we have Cable. Fucking Cable. And the best thing about Cable is, the guy who's playing him was literally Thanos in Infinity War. And he did Deadpool too. So I pop my phone to the side, you know. We have Cable. Like, we get to see Cable, Colossus, Megasonic Teenage Warhead, what a fucking name, <laughs> and all these new characters as they join forces to become X-Force, or X, X-Force, because <laughs> fuck the X-Men, no, I'm joking. So, the plot line to this movie, very simple, uh, Deadpool is trying to protect a kid from Cable, who has came from the future, Cable was in the video game, and he's like, this guy from the future, oh, I can always see when something bad's gonna go wrong, and this kid is gonna grow up to be bad. He's gonna burn everybody. Okay, fair enough. Now, major spoiler warning, it's in the title, I'm spoiling this movie. Hate me, whatever. I'm Ryan Jumps E2, no one's ever gonna watch this video. So, spoiler warning, Vanessa dies. Deadpool's love interest, Wade's girlfriend, or... Uh, never got married, so definitely, yeah, girlfriend. She dies. Not even the first 10, 15 minutes into this movie, Vanessa dies. They wanted to have a child, and they never got to have that child, because Vanessa dies. So Wade is trying to die in this movie. Like, he wants to die. He sets himself to explode. Literally, as soon as this movie starts... There's a wee, like, Logan figure. Logan, if you don't know, is Wolverine. Or, like, um... His name. His name. Hugh Jackman. Uh, is Logan Wolverine. And, uh, Deadpool has the narration. And he's like, oh, fuck, you died in your last movie. So I'm gonna die in this one. And he's actually right. This movie had me in tears at the end. Well, I'll get to that in a second. We learn a bit about Cable and his backstory. We get to see Colossus again in the X-Men mansion. And there's a funny cameo in this from, like, all the other X-Men. Wade's in the house, and he's talking about the other X-Men. He's like, we have a big budget on this movie. Why, why don't we see any more of the X-Men? And, like, the camera just kind of turns to the side a little bit, and you just see, like, all the other X-Men... And they just sort of close the door. You see Beast. Beast is an X-Man, isn't he? And you see Miss Mystique. I think her name is Mystique. She's like the blue chick. And she can transform her body and stuff. I didn't see Wolverine. So that that was something I missed. Might have missed it. Um, but that's there. We then also get to see the wonderful and the brilliant name. Negasonic name too long to pronounce here. <laughs> uh, she's actually a lesbian. In this movie, she actually has a female friend in this movie. And, of course, Deadpool takes the piss out of her. Because, you know, it's Deadpool and that's what he does. Also, the taxi driver uh, from the first movie, he returns in this one. Do Pindu? Pindu? It, it's, it's a weird name. He's in this movie and he wants to become a bad guy. He wants to become a killer crime fighter. And uh, it's a good development story for him. 
who else dies? And as I said, Deadpool wants to die, and he, he very very well does. Like I, I don't want to give away too much of this plot line, but I'm not going to explain the whole movie. I've just explained the first like 15, 20 minutes, and the ending. Uh, we get to the ending. Uh, the fight scenes are awesome. From Cable and Deadpool locking up to the fight scene with the kid, Russell. The kid's called Russell, and I know what you're probably thinking. Ryan, you're a Disney guy. Whenever the name Russell comes into your head, what's the first thing you think of? Good afternoon. My name is Russell. Do you need any assistance today, sir? <laughs> but no, apparently he's a mutant. Um, and he's at the school for mutants, and he wants to burn down the school. But there's an ice box, I think it's called, like an ice box or something, and they try and break out of the ice box place, but obviously Deadpool gets out. They have, like, these collars on them that, like, drain their powers, like their mutant powers, so they put on, like, this necklace and shit, and, uh... Obviously, because Deadpool has cancer, and his uh, thing in the first movie was he got these superpowers that he can never be killed. But once he puts this thing on, he can easily die. He somehow manages to get that off, and he ends up leaving, which causes Russell to go off and speak to someone else. And now this. This was like the, oh my god, this guy's in the movie scene, um... They're breaking out of the um, of the transportation bus. Cable's trying to kill Russell. Deadpool and the X Force, uh, which only ends up becoming him and Domino. Not Domino's Pizza. Her, her name is actually Domino, and she's just you got luck on her side. There's some other guys in there. There's Terry Crews. Uh, he's in there. Bill Skarsgård from It Pennywise. And some guy called Peter. And some guy called Visible? Mr. Visible or something? Like, he's invisible, but you call him Visible. I don't know. He's there. And literally, they all jump out of a plane. And Terry Crews, Bill Skarsgård, Peter, and Mr. Visible, they all die right off the bat. Terry Crews goes face first into a bus. Bill Skarsgård goes flying into, like, a wood chipper. Mr. Visible ends up hitting the telegraph pole. And then Peter just loses an arm, I think. He doesn't actually die, die. And so that just leaves Deadpool and Domino. And that leads to the battle scene on the highway. And then they crash through a bridge. And then the epic reveal of Juggernaut. From the X-Men. Juggernaut is in this movie. Oh my god, I couldn't have been more happy when I saw Juggernaut. Even, like, Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool was like, <gasps> Juggernaut! Oh my god, you're like the best X-Man ever! Like, you're, you're my favorite villain! Like, I, I actually love you! Why are you walking towards me like this? And literally, Juggernaut literally snaps him in half. Like, picture this area right here just yanked out of Deadpool. And he's like, oh, you literally just ripped me in half. <sighs> I've said too much, haven't I? I try not to say too much whenever I do these reviews, you know. I try not to give too much away. But then again, it's in the title. It's a spoiler thing because I'm, I'm pretty much saying what happens. The kid and Russell and uh, the, <laughs> the kid and Juggernaut end up going to the school to burn it down and burn the headmaster. Burn it down! To burn the headmaster. Deadpool, Cable, and all show up. Uh, Negasonic Teenage Warhead and her female friends show up. Colossus shows up. There's a big battle. The kid's about to literally kill Deadpool, but then Cable shoots him. Deadpool jumps in front of the kid, and because Deadpool was wearing the collar... He ends up getting shot, and he actually dies, uh, just so he can be with Vanessa. But, throughout this movie, Vanessa was dropping hints. Oh, your heart's just not where it belongs. Your heart's not 
in the right place. And it has to be with the F word, which is family, because he doesn't like using the word family. In the same way, I don't like anything to do with the R word. You'll figure it out. Um, but it's all about family, and Cable then goes back in time, and he pretty much saves Deadpool's life. Like, he spares him his life. He shoots the bullet, but he puts something on, like, Deadpool's chest, so when he gets shot, it ends up shooting the little thing that he put in front of it. And he's like, really? And they take the cable thing off, and that's pretty much the movie. And even though, yeah, I'll say this, even though it's not an MCU movie, watch the end credits. <laughs> Please just watch the end credits. Because I stayed to watch the end credits, because like every fucking movie, no matter where it's Disney... MCU movies, DreamWorks, Universal, whatever it is, I will stay until the end just to see if there's anything there. And with this movie, there certainly is. But I'm not going to give that away. That's the one thing I won't give away because the thing at the end is always the best part. So that is pretty much my spoiler review of Deadpool 2. Uh, that's it. There's no movies coming out until July. We have Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again. That's coming out in July. And the one we've all been waiting for, 14 fucking years in the making, The Incredibles 2. They both come out in July. Uh, July 13th is The Incredibles 2. And I think July 7th is Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Got my ticket right on the wall. Boom, Deadpool 2. Go and see it, guys. I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. And, yeah, this has been Ryan Jump 62 coming at you from the Ryan Jump 62 lounge. I'm just going to go ahead and put my feet up on the table. And, uh, yeah, I'll let you guys do you. As a specimen, yes, I'm intimidating my water guy like Gaston. See?